What is up, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. I am at the Smith Fieldhouse for the NPSF Championship match between one seed BYU and three seed Pepperdine. Both teams are coming off sweeps yesterday. BYU sweeping GCU and Pepperdine sweeping UCLA. So a lot of momentum going into tonight, which means it's going to be a great matchup. Let's get to it. And it was very tight as Felipe Brito Vera, two for two. Isn't it great to have this match at the Smith Fieldhouse? Who doesn't love a home court advantage? Especially when you realize that BYU is 6-0 in title games here in Provo. Not to mention that the place is sold out. Well, as sold out as it can be in the COVID era. But trust me, it is energetic in here. It is electric. Fans are loving it. We love having the PSF tournament here. We've had it here for the past five years and eight years in total. There it is. And there's an ace. What a set. BYU takes that one after it was basically point for point the entire time. Now that's particularly interesting because we've dominated Pepperdine all season. We have won all four matchups with them. Two of them being sweeps and we only dropped two sets in the other two matches in total. But listen, Pepperdine, they're still a good team. They're a three seed here tonight. They're ranked 12th nationally. They're 13 and five on the season. And like I said, four of those losses came from our Cougs. We just uh, want to give them another one here tonight. Let's do that. Blocked again. Oh, Trey Cole. And then Dvorak gets it out. Eight nothing. It's wow. crazy early with Steve. Is this set over? BYU starts out set two strong. Eight unanswered points. You know, Pepperdine did end up getting on the board, but it's okay. Our Cougs still lead 17 to 8. I love that. And I love seeing our seniors ball out. Our seniors are leading both teams in a lot of categories. Zach Eschenberg with eight kills, Felipe Gibrito Vajeda with six blocks, and Gabi Garcia Fernandez with two aces. It's only fitting that they're balling out tonight because it's the last time we're gonna see them play here at BYU. <sighs> I get emotional about it. BYU Volleyball knows we get emotional about it. Based off this TikTok, they know we get emotional about it. But I don't got time to be in my fields. We still got volleyball going on. Would have been like, seriously? Gardini with the tip. BYU wins the set 25-15. I just have to point out the stat before we head into set three. BYU was hitting 933 in the second set alone. Look, in a lot of categories, we've been pretty close, but hitting percentage, hitting percentage, we're doing a lot better, which makes sense why we're doing better right now. Five aces away from the all-time record in BYU history. That jersey number for him. Oh my. Make it four. Oh my. While we have a second here in set three, I just have to remind you how much this championship game means to our Coops. Last year, they were having an incredible season before it was all cut short due to COVID. And our guys, they all used their extra year of eligibility to come back because as they put it, they had unfinished business. Last year, they had no MPSF tournament. They had no NCAA tournament. And in 2019, the last time they did have an MPSF tournament, well, we fell to Pepperdine. We are trying to make sure that is not the case here tonight. Our guys got it. They're going to take care of business. I can feel it. Four right here. Eschenberg is stuffed. Still alive. Look at this wow. eyeball for Eschenberg. Wow. Oh, my goodness. You're kidding me. I oh. for Dvorak, and he is roofed by Gardini. Oh. And Gardini yeah. gets it, Dvorak. BYU has defeated Pepperdine in three to win the 2021 MPSF Championship. BYU pulls through with a sweep to become our 2021 MPSF Champions. Oh, it feels so good. Cue the trophy ceremony. Cue the celebration. BYUSN right now. Wow, does it feel good to be a Coug? Go Cougs, baby!